Rejection often feared is an unseen force that can propel you to unimaginable heights. It's a powerful catalyst, misunderstood by many, and as such its true potential remains largely untapped. Rejection, my dear friends, is not a roadblock but a stepping stone, a compass guiding you towards your destined path. Consider the story of a man, a household name today, who was once rejected by a major recording company who told him that he didn't have what it takes. That man is none other than Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. Rejection didn't deter him, instead it fueled his ambition, driving him to become one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century. So, the next time you encounter rejection, view it not as a setback, but as an invitation to rethink, refine, and reshape your approach. Remember, rejection is not the end, but the beginning of a new journey. Fear of rejection is universal, yet it is the very fear that stops us from reaching our potential. We all grapple with this fear, this invisible barrier that often holds us back from taking the leap, from venturing into the unknown, from realizing our dreams. This fear can be paralyzing, discouraging us from taking risks, blocking our path to the achievement of our goals. Let's take a moment to consider the story of a certain individual who dared to face this fear head on. This person, faced with the potential of rejection time and time again, chose instead to embrace the possibility, to use it as a stepping stone rather than a stumbling block. This fear of rejection, once a formidable foe, became a powerful ally, a catalyst for change and achievement. Through this example, we see that it's not the fear of rejection that is the enemy, but rather our perception of it. It's a hurdle, yes, but a hurdle is not a wall. It's not an insurmountable obstacle. It's merely a challenge, a test of our resolve and determination. Fear of rejection is a hurdle, but once you overcome it, the world is yours to conquer. Before we proceed, we invite you to share your own stories of rejection in the comments below. Each one of us has tasted the bitter pill of rejection at some point. Let's transform these experiences into a shared treasure of wisdom and strength. Your tales, your moments of resilience, they're not just your own. They possess the power to inspire, to motivate, and to embolden someone who might be struggling in the face of rejection. Your stories matter. They inspire us and others to face rejection with courage. A rejection, when viewed rightly, can be a powerful motivator, a statement that resonates with truth and wisdom if we only take a moment to contemplate it. Rejection, that sting we feel when we've been turned down, dismissed or simply not chosen. It's a universal experience, one that can feel devastating in the moment, yet it's also a catalyst. It's that nudge, that push that propels us to work harder, to strive and to prove our worth. Consider the tale of the renowned author J.K. Rowling. Before the world knew about the magical universe of Harry Potter, Rowling faced numerous rejections from publishers. Did she let those rejections deter her? On the contrary, they fueled her determination. She used them as motivation and in doing so, she gave life to one of the most beloved series of our time. Or take the story of Walt Disney a man whose name is synonymous with imagination and innovation. In his early career, he was fired from a newspaper for lacking creativity. Imagine that, Walt Disney, lacking creativity. That rejection could have been a crushing blow. Instead, it was a spark that ignited the fire of his ambition, leading him to create an empire that has enchanted generations. And it's not just in the arts that we see this phenomenon. In the world of technology, Steve Jobs was famously ousted from his own company, Apple. A humiliating rejection, to be sure. But did he let it stop him? No. He used it as a springboard to create Pixar and eventually return to Apple, where he revolutionized the world of personal computing. These examples are not mere anecdotes. They are testament to the power of rejection as a motivator. They prove that rejection isn't a dead end, but a detour leading us towards a path of self-improvement and success. Rejection, in its rawest form, is feedback. It's an opportunity for us to reflect, reassess, and recalibrate our efforts. It's a chance to learn, grow, and come back stronger. So the next time you face rejection, remember it's not a defeat, it's a challenge. It's an invitation to prove that you have what it takes to succeed. Every rejection is a chance to improve, to rise, and to shine. Every rejection carries a lesson, if only we are willing to learn. This is the cornerstone of our fifth lesson on leveraging rejection. It's not the rejection itself that holds power, but rather the knowledge we can extract from it. Consider this, if you will. You, you've applied for a job, and after an intense interview, you're ultimately turned down. It's a common scenario, isn't it? But rather than dwelling on the disappointment, what if you were to analyze the situation? 
Ask yourself, what could I have done better? Were there questions I struggled with, skills I lacked, or perhaps was my presentation simply not up to par? When we dissect our rejections in this way, we can find valuable insights that can guide our future actions. The job rejection might lead you to realize that you need to work on your communication skills, or maybe it could highlight a gap in your knowledge that you can now address. Now let's shift our gaze to a personal scenario. You ask someone out on a date and they decline. It's a sting, we've all felt it. But again, we can ask ourselves, what can I learn from this? Maybe you rushed things or perhaps you didn't communicate your feelings effectively. Rejection, you see, is not a dead end, but rather a detour sign guiding you towards a path of self-improvement. It's a chance to reflect and refine, to understand where we falter and how we can rise. Think of rejection as a mirror. It reflects our actions and intentions, our strengths and weaknesses. It shows us who we are and who we can be. When we learn from rejection, we're not just growing, we're evolving. We're becoming better versions of ourselves, more equipped to face the challenges that lie ahead. So the next time you face rejection, remember it's not a statement of your worth, but an opportunity for growth. Embrace it, learn from it, and use it to fuel your journey towards success. For as we said at the beginning, every rejection carries a lesson if only we are willing to learn. Rejection teaches us more about ourselves, our strengths, our weaknesses, and our potential. And that, my friends, is the beauty of learning from rejection. Rejection, though painful, can be a great builder of resilience. Consider this for a moment. Every time we face rejection, we are presented with an opportunity to toughen our mental and emotional armor. It's akin to a blacksmith shaping and hardening iron under the relentless hammer and fiery furnace. With each blow, the metal becomes stronger, more resilient. Similarly, when we face rejection, we too are forged in the fires of adversity, emerging stronger and more resilient. Picture this scenario. A young artist, her heart filled with dreams and aspirations, suffers a series of rejections. Every gallery she approaches declines her work. Each rejection stings, but she doesn't let it break her. Instead, she uses it to fuel her determination, to refine her art. With each rejection, she learns, she adapts, she grows. And as she does, her resilience builds. Or consider the story of an aspiring entrepreneur whose innovative ideas are dismissed time and again. Each rejection is a blow to his confidence, but he doesn't let it deter him. Instead, he uses it as motivation. He learns from his mistakes, alters his approach and perseveres. As he continues to face rejections and overcome them, he becomes more resilient. Both these individuals, though different in their pursuits, share a common thread. They have faced rejection and used it as a tool to build resilience. They have learned to adapt, to persevere, to endure. They have become stronger, more resilient. Rejection in all its forms is a test of our strength, our resolve. It pushes us to our limits, forcing us to confront our fears, our insecurities. But in doing so, it also reveals our true potential, our capacity for resilience. Remember, the road to success is often paved with the stones of rejection. Each stone is an opportunity to build resilience, to become stronger, more determined. So the next time you face rejection, don't see it as a setback, but as a stepping stone towards building resilience. In the face of rejection, we find our true strength. Rejection, if embraced, can be a catalyst for self-improvement. It's a bitter pill to swallow, yes, but it's also a mirror held up to us, reflecting areas we need to refine, tweak, or completely overhaul. Consider the case of a writer whose manuscript was rejected by 12 publishers. Rather than wallow in disappointment, she used the feedback to refine her work. She scrutinized her prose, tightened her plot, and honed her characters until they leapt off the page. That writer was J.K. Rowling, and the manuscript was for the first book in the Harry Potter series. Or take the story of a young cartoonist who was fired from his job at a newspaper for lack of creativity. Instead of letting the rejection define him, he used it to fuel his ambition to prove his critics wrong. That cartoonist was Walt Disney, who went on to redefine the world of animation. Rejection, you see, is not the end of the road, but a detour sign pointing towards a path less traveled, a path that often leads to self-improvement. It forces us to question our methods, reassess our strategies, and ultimately become better versions of ourselves. Rejection can be a powerful tool for growth if we allow it to be. It's a wake-up call, a reality check. 
an opportunity to take a step back and evaluate our approach. It's a chance to learn, to grow, to evolve and to come back stronger. It's an invitation to hone our skills, to refine our tactics, to perfect our craft. So the next time you face rejection, don't shy away from it. Embrace it. Let it fuel your desire for self-improvement. Use it as an opportunity to learn, to grow, to become a better version of yourself. Remember, it's not the rejection itself that defines us, but how we respond to it. Embrace rejection, for it is a stepping stone to self-improvement. Success is often born out of the ashes of rejection. Imagine a world where everyone you met, every idea you pitched, every project you initiated was met with instant approval. It sounds like a dream, doesn't it? But the truth is, it's a mirage. In this world, growth stagnates, innovation is stifled, and true success remains elusive. It is through the crucible of rejection that we are shaped, polished, and honed into our most successful selves. Take, for instance, the story of Thomas Edison. His quest to invent a practical electric light bulb was met with more than a thousand rejections. Each failure, each rejection was a lesson, a stepping stone towards his eventual triumph. Or consider the tale of J.K. Rowling, the renowned author of the Harry Potter series. Her manuscript was rejected by not one, not two, but twelve different publishers. Yet, she persisted, and in the face of rejection, she found the strength to persevere, eventually emerging as one of the most successful authors of all time. Rejection, you see, is not a sign of defeat, but rather a challenge, a test of our resolve and our determination. It forces us to re-evaluate our approach, to learn and to grow. It pushes us out of our comfort zones, compelling us to strive harder, to reach further, to aim higher. In the realm of success, rejection is not the enemy. It is the mentor, the teacher, the guide. It is the voice that whispers in our ear, not this way, there is a better path, find it. It is the force that propels us forward, pushing us towards our goals, driving us towards our dreams. So remember, when you face rejection, don't let it discourage you. Let it fuel you. Let it inspire you. Let it guide you. Rejection is not a roadblock to success, but a stepping stone. Rejection is not a verdict, but an opportunity. This statement rings true now more than ever as we round up our journey through the multifaceted world of rejection. We've journeyed through 15 lessons, each a stepping stone in transforming our understanding of rejection. Each lesson holds a piece of the puzzle, a key to unlock the potential within the word no. We began with recognizing the power of rejection. It's a force, a catalyst that can propel us forward or keep us stuck in a cycle of self-doubt. We spoke of the fear of rejection, a universal experience that can be debilitating. But remember, it's not the fear itself, but how we respond to it that truly matters. We delved into the idea of rejection as motivation. The sting of a no can light a fire within us, pushing us to prove our detractors wrong. We learned that rejection is a teacher in disguise, offering lessons in resilience, self-improvement and success. From the ashes of rejection, we can build resilience, a shield against future disappointments. It's in the face of a no that we discover our mettle, our grit, our determination. We also discussed how rejection spurs self-improvement. It brings to light areas we need to work on, pushing us to become better versions of ourselves. Lastly, we unraveled the role of rejection in success. The journey to the pinnacle of achievement is littered with no's, but it's those no's that shape us, refine us, and prepare us for the yes that lies ahead. Now, as we wrap up, remember that these lessons are not just theories confined to this discussion. They are practical tools ready to be wielded in the battlefield of life. Rejection is not an enemy to be feared, but a companion on the road to success. It's all about perspective. View rejection not as a roadblock, but as a detour leading you to a path less traveled, where success awaits. Harness the power of rejection and watch as the doors of success swing wide open for you.